What is up, everyone? Thank you for joining me. This is Jay Dumont bringing you another episode of Let's Ball with College Hoops 2K8 Legacy Mode. I was just messing around to practice a little bit. So today on the docket, we've got to load... Okay, we're loaded up here. We're playing the Oregon at Oregon State Beavers, I believe, or versus. No, we're at home against Oregon State. They're coming to see us, so that's good. Let's take a look at our stats. So Webb's leading the team. Points per game. Marie, Ernest Crisp, Goff, Marty Goff, Ferdinand Williamson, Bucky Morissette. So we're getting pretty solid contributions down the line. I wonder why field goal percentage is way over here. I'm only shooting 40% from the field, but 48 from three, that's pretty nice. Ferdinand shooting 17%, 36%, that's not as terrible as I thought Doyle has been shooting. <clears throat> so let's see how we stack up in the Big West. So I'm the second leading scorer. And Felton Marie is up there a little bit. Rebounds. Do we have anybody getting rebounds at that level? Jimenez averaging 5.8. Assists. Felton Marie at three a game. A little bit down the line. Steals. Felton Marie's second with 2.8. And Ernest Ledbetter with 2.7. So that's positive. Blocks. Ransom Jimenez. 1.3. He's fourth. Minutes per game. Felton Marie at 30. Hmm, Webb is just at 29.5. Turnovers. <coughs> see anyone from us here. How about field goal percentage? We don't everybody have anyone leading here. Three point percentage. Well, I'm close and I've shot a lot of them. 48%. Free throw percent. I'm shooting 63% from the foul line. Felton Marie, 96%. Whoo. Led better at 90%. Whoops. <clears throat> cool. So we're five and one. And we have a tough game. Uh, before we start, let's see if anyone needs a pep talk. We have 10 to give out during the season. Should we give one out now? Let's give one to Ransom Jimenez. Boom. Takes him up to 65% confidence. A little more confident in his game. We'll get a light boost from that. I was going to do the drills. I'm just going to get right to the game because I want to play. Alright, it's not going to be an easy one. <clears throat> they have a lot of team unity. Pretty good team overall. We're good state beavers, but we're at home. So there's that. Click left stick to edit uniforms. Home, away, home, away. <laughs> Get this thing started. This is one of those teams like Portland State, I believe it was. Get ready for college hoops on two games. They're playing well, four and two. You have to be careful in this what one. Game we have in store for us today. Hi there, everyone. We're here at the Pavilion. <coughs> here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What's your take on this, Bill? 
This game features a matchup between two outstanding big fellas. Jimenez is a terrific big man. Jimenez, not Jimenez. Jimenez. He puts his length to great use too and can dominate on the interior. McCoy is also very capable at center. This big fella. Oh, he's capable. 75 overall. He puts his length to great use too and can dominate on the interior. <clears throat> Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. So we've got to watch out in this one. It's a sneak game. Control the opening tip, and we'll get this one started. The game is just Bucky. Ended, they're already in the minimum. Try to get two right up the jump. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. <clears throat> Gets the second to fall as well. Underwood inbounds the ball. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Well, guys, earlier today I caught up with Coach Davis. He told me the number one thing that jumps out at them about this opponent in their athleticism. He said it may be fun to watch a team like this, but it is not a lot of fun to defend against. We'll see if his players feel the same way after this game. Thank you, Tracy. Passes it to the strike. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. Hester. Stay there. By UC Davis. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Uh, the misstep and then capitalize. Try and draw a foul. Leads him with the pass. Dorian oh. Gets the board inside. That was a desperation move. Got caught trying to change his shot just a little too late. Dishes it to the left. Webb catches it. Baseline. Morris set backs in. They're bringing the double team. Nice pass. Let's it go. The triple was off the mark by Doyle, <coughs> but they're still out front by two. Pincola takes it up. Shooting two. So Portland State had similar stats. I think they were 74 overall. Wish there was more scouting you could do. He misses the first. A little more in depth like that. I'm, I'm going to have to start finding the team's rosters before the game. And then kind of sizing them up and figuring out what to expect. Because I don't just like going into the game not knowing anything. That's kind of how I've been doing it a little bit. Skip pass, baseline, uh. stolen away. Oh, the quick hands before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. <clears throat> Pincola gets it on the free throw line. Pulled in by Pincola. Returned Get that out of here. McCoy skips it to the high post. To the stripe. Passes to the free throw line. Hester. Well, the D is good. Free. Saw that coming a mile away. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off. Get in. Uh, using the shot stick a bit there. Can't believe Webb shooting, what, 68% from the line? Makes the first yeah. <clears throat> makes his first appearance. Maybe I didn't plan out my character too well. I thought I did. I tried to. He gets them both. Because I'm a better foul shooter than that. Inbounds the ball. 
Bounces it to the right wing. Goes up. The up fake was a good one. So was the layup by Gibbs. But they're still down by one. About 17 and a half minutes left in the half. Morissette has it left wing. Webb takes it up. He gets hammered. And he'll head to the strike. Good pick by Bucky. Shooting two. Got me open. He misses the first. I figured an 80 foul throw, free throw rating would be about 80%. He sinks the second. McCoy inbounds the ball. Still having a fantastic freshman Passes season so right far. Wing. Pincola. Catches it. Right wing. Chana dishes to the top of the key. <laughs> Chana hands it off. Great tee. Pincola is whistled for the loose ball foul. And that's his first foul of the game. Ooh, had to chase him around. He's going to be one to watch. What happened? The Aggies were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. Doyle, what are you doing? These players don't look like they enjoy playing together at the moment, Vern. And that pass illustrates what I'm talking about. It wasn't even any pressure. It was just thrown away. About 16 and a half minutes left in the half. Gibbs gets it outright. Give me that. By Marie. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and when he got the chance, he pounced for the steal. Dumps it off. Backs him down. Here comes the double team. Morissette launches one from beyond the arc. <laughs> Good. Bucky. He's got five. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Hit him in. Catches it. Top of the key. Takes the shot. Gotta get tight on him. Tried to answer back with a three, but it's missed by Chana. Webb beats it to the top of the key. Throw it into the big guy. Jimenez backs down. Hands it from seven. And they now lead by seven. There you go, Ransom. <clears throat> pass. Passes it to the wing. I don't watch kids. Underwood dishes it to the high post. Dishes left wing. Underwood tosses it up. What? Doesn't get it. I got Menace. sucked into that animation. Wish I had more choices for this position. Oh, we need the defense, so I want some McElroy. Surprised we don't have a louder six man. He sinks the second. McElroy inbounds the ball. Right around 15 minutes left in the half. Morissette catches it. Left wing. Webb kicks it out to the left wing. Marcus Ooh. yanks it down. The break is on. Goes up. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. And they now trail by four. To the free throw line. Dumps it down low. Collected inside by Morissette. Ah. Uh, the steal by Oregon State. Trip me. Way up court. A little too much activity down there, and he forgot to squeeze it. Oh. Always protect the ball, Vern. Marie brings it up the floor. Doyle. 
Leads him in. Webb to the right. Oh. Give me an and one. I like that play. Knocks down the first cushion. Williams checks in for the first time. He gets them both. Marcus Sovich inbounds the ball. Give has it right wing. Bounce pass to the stripe. Underwood hands it off. Pincola gets it right wing. Only a few seconds left of the shot clock. The last frame was cashed in by Underwood. Terrific shot. He just got a little space and hit the long range bomb. Left side. Shoots from 13 feet. Bad shot. Pulls it in. Marie is tagged with the reach, and that's his first foul. The Oregon State the court. may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Craig inbounds the ball. Aiken doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. They did just enough to force him to alter his shot. What solid D. Goes up. Can't hmm. convert, but he'll go to the line for two. I've drawn fouls. I will be right back. Boom. So I was just looking at my team unity here. We're at two out of five, five and one record. 69 overall. We're going up in the ratings a little bit. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Now this is what I like to see from the foul line. Consistent makes from Webb. Gets the second to fall as well. Law inbounds the ball. Let's try to get a quick swipe the right there. Court trap defense right here. Back left wing. Law. Uh. Just over 12 minutes left in the half. Has it top of the key. Webb bounces it to the elbow. Get it, though. Yeah. Craig. You've got to squeeze it. He didn't do a very good job of protecting the ball there. We're turning it over early. Dishes it to the high post. Don't let him shoot. From 17 Ryan. feet out. All net. They cut it to one. Webb. <laughs> Webb gets it far side. Yes, triangle post. McElroy gets it outside. Unload. There, I held the button long enough. They're up. 17 to 13. Morris beats it to the strike. Out left. Backs in. Good D. Right around 11 minutes left in the half. Swings it to the corner. Marie. By yourself, by yourself. Skips it to the middle. Webb has it in the corner. Hands it off. Pass. Top of the key. 
Marie pulls the trigger. Aiken snatches the rebound. They've still got a four-point lead. Aiken, Marcus Sovich passes it back to the top of the key. Dishes to the top of the key. Morris. Puts it up. The three-pointer was no good by Aiken. Still a double-digit game. Doyle takes it up. Williamson keeps it alive on the offensive end. The shot was clearly affected by the contact there. Good call. Shooting one and one. He can't get the foot. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. He's off on the second. Has it right side. Take that off when he dribbles. Chana, the crossover. McCoy. Passes it to the top of the key. Law catches it, right wing. Chana raises up, hits the tray. He's one for two from downtown. Just over nine minutes left in the half. They're set up in man, -to -man. Pass, right wing. Marie. Williamson bounces it to the wing. Left side. Marie backs him down. Gets the shooter's roll off the front of the rim. They're now up by three. They try the half-court press. Kicks it out to the perimeter. Damn. All tied up. And it's all knotted up 19. Ledbetter brings it up court. Marie. Backs in. Skips it down low. The offensive board gathered by McElroy. <sighs> He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and should have dunked that. One up with a regular shot. Oh, he's a decent free throw shooter. Down the first on the Chris to make his first stand off the bench. Let's go with Marty Goff. <clears throat> he gets the substitution on the Goff makes his first appearance. Law inbounds the ball. Trying to get the big man back in and going. Right wing. Dishes to the free throw line. Stolen away by, by McElroy. McElroy. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. McElroy. The bank shot won't fall. Mm. But they're still out in front. And he two. does not have much touch down the low. Catches it. Left wing. <clears throat> Left wing. Ooh, we got lucky he didn't pop that one. Craig's not who I'm worried he about though. The free throw line. Aiken. It's the Chana or it's catches it. Chana. McCoy. Oh, I lost my man. Just over seven minutes left in the half. Williamson dumps it off. Has it in the paint. With the floater, fouled hard there. Tried to He'll pump fake. <clears throat> I'll take it. Shooting one and one. Not 
Watch down the first two. On the Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Gets the second to fall as well. Well, Bronson McElroy gave us good minutes. He didn't get much of a rest. Give us very good minutes. Inbounds the ball. I'm sure you get Jimenez well too, but I'll call him Jimenez. It's easier. <clears throat> Pincola throws it up. It's in for three, but they're still behind by one. Just over six minutes left in the half. Dunk it to the big man. The right. Chris gets it on the free throw line. Block. I love that defense. What great instincts to go out there and get a hand on that shot. Passes left side. Underwood backs down. Can't take the lead. Great job to swarm the jump shooter on that play. That's how you lock your man up. A minute. The shot down low. Fouled foul. hard. And he'll take That's it to his the first personal foul. We'll drop step in the lane. <clears throat> Makes the first. Yes. Showing some touch. I was playing around with him in uh, practice mode, and he was hitting the mid-range J for some reason, even though he had no bars there. Maybe the fact that he's seven-two. Come away one of two. Jimenez, oh, what am I in. doing? He can't be happy with that, Bill. You don't want to be in foul trouble with so much time left on the board. You've got that right. Why am I reaching with him and as careful when and how they use him on the court? Gets it on the strike. Underwood beats it to the high post. Deflects the pass. High post. Dishes to the get out in China. Jimenez corrals the miss inside. Just over five minutes left in the half. I love the defense. Just because he's in tight doesn't mean you have to give up the easy deuce. Backs down. Jimenez goes up. Under oh, was foul. Good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Really he's wish we would land at Staples. Bounces it to the right block. Snatched off the board by Underwood. Easy call on that one. It was pretty obvious he got hit on the release. Shooting. Let's get my about here to run the point a little bit. He makes the first. Both teams are going to shape things up a little bit with some subs. Get loud crowd. He's off on the second. Morris set passes way oh, down. Oh, whoa, whoa. Stolen by Oregon State. Why Killing is my point guard running away from the ball? I thought Webb was closer to me. <clears throat> This is a sneak game. Good for the three-point play. Chris inbounds the ball. About four and a half minutes left in the half. Williamson catches it right wing. Skip pass down low. They're going to double team it. No pump fake. I guess once you get so close, you can't pump fake. Pincola has Should it learn that by now. Passes to the wing, takes it up. Nifty reverse yes. on the layup by Gibbs. And they're up by four. They're going to double team him. Chris passes it up court. Goff to the rim. Gillingham grabs the rock. 
dicey pass. To the rim. Nice lay in off the glass by Gibbs. I'm out on the floor. Coach Davis wow. is trying to stop the bleeding bird. They've got to catch their breath and put a stop to this run. Sorry, Marty. Can't let this get out of hand. Doyle inbounds the ball. He's doubled up. UC Davis has had serious problems with their interior defense. Boom. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Davis just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. All right, Tracy. To the free throw line. It's a four point ball game. Swings it to the left wing. Crisp. Ernest Crisp. He's double teamed. Oh. Dishes cross court. <clears throat> Underwood gets it out left. Chris got to do a good job on Gibbs. Pincola catches it down low. It looks like they're playing man to man. Right wing. Doyle shoots it. Spike mm. down. You gotta love the help defense on that one. He came out of nowhere to reject the shot. What a pass. The nice meters. speed yes. by Morris. He's got eight. 201 left in the first Two half. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Webb. Dishes it to the left. Doyle has it right wing. Takes a three. Gillingham pulls it down. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Quick shot. Eight. High post. Pincola has it down low. Passes like Gillingham. that make it so easy for the shooter. And it's a six point game. Marie passes it to the top of the key. Bounces it to the wing. Shoots from the corner. Mm. By Webb. Well. And they're now behind by four. They're bringing the double team. Webb ties him up, but the offense will keep the ball as the <clears throat> arrow's in their favor. We do not want to let this thing get longer than four. Law inbounds the ball. Oregon State will take its first timeout. Substitution didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Chana mm. knocked loose. The Beavers will retain possession. Oh. Knocked it off uh, toil there. Give Chana an open look. 
McCoy gets it on the low block. Damn. That McCoy. last shot buried from 14 feet. I'll take the last shot. Left in the first half. Right wing. A pick. McElroy catches it on the perimeter. Mm. It doesn't count by Doyle. We'll head into the. Break. Score 36 to 30. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. Kept it in with free throws. We're shooting terribly. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Incala has been lights out from the floor, Vern. It must feel like he's thrown the ball in the ocean. Every shot he takes goes through, and he looks absolutely unstoppable. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Hmm. Anything good on the coach's notes? Time to start crashing the boards harder, scoring off our fast break. It's also defensive pressure, we're not forcing turnovers. Tighten more. Fast breaks, all right, so let's crank up the pressure. Crank up the fast breaks. Crash the boards. We're all set to Finally, we get the ball at halftime. Inbounds it to start the second half. Marie dishes to the left side. Baseline. Webb from 17 feet out. It falls short. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on in halftime. Tracy? During halftime, I talked with Coach Davis. He said that he was going to stir the pot a little bit and hope that it helps them come back in the second half. Coach said that even though the starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back to you, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Knocks down the first shooting. McElroy is back in the game after a short rest. So if we're going to make the field of 64 this year, we're going to need to beat teams like Oregon State. Gets the second to fall as well. Our biggest test is coming up yet. Doyle inbounds the ball. Marie tosses it up court. Nice little crossover. Well, I'm going to attack the basket. Shooting two. Five and one. Big win over Texas, but we're going to need more than that. Knocks down the first one. And I think conference play is going to be pretty brutal with a lot of teams. 73-74 was the lowest rated team. Tied with Rivers, UC Riverside, I think, in the conference. Gets them both. So it's going to be rough. Hester. Dishes it to the stripe. Passes out left. 
Backs him down. Doyle. Gets it to there go. go. Doyle. 28% for the game. Pincola fires it way up court. Has it right wing. Hester skips it to the free throw line. Tipped away. Give me that. And it's gathered up by Bronson. He's showing off some nice moves for him, but he forgot to squeeze it. McCoy inbounds the ball. All right, back in this thing. Double team. Picks it up. The finger roll was slipped up and in by Hester. He's one for two for the game. To the paint. McElroy nice. has the quick shot. McElroy. They narrow the gap to two. Pincola. Oh. Oh. He was rattled. He just lost track of where he was on the floor, Vern. You have to be able to dribble with your head up or things like this happen. See if we can get this six man going a bit. Doyle. Hmm. Under 18 minutes left in the second half. Feeds it to the wing. Doyle with the steal. That's his third steal so far. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a deep burn. Mm. The crowd getting wild. Shooting. Webb shooting more free throws. The charity stripe. And he makes the first. Upgrading his percentage a bit. Good, and we're all knotted up. McCoy inbounds the ball. They're going to apply some pressure here, and with full court, get him in. Underwood catches Got him it right a little bit. McCoy. McCoy's a big boy. McElroy's going to have problems with him down there. Maybe I should just leave Jimenez out there. And he makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. Gets it on the inside. Ah. Rebounded by Pincola. Tried a quick hit. Hester passes it to the top of the key. Out left. Dishes to the left wing. Pincola. Dangerous pass. McCoy snags it. Got lucky he didn't go back up with it. Swings it to the right wing. Stolen by UC Davis. Give me that. It's two on one. Up court, McElroy. The finisher. McElroy grabs the rebound. Inside. Boom. McElroy inbounds the ball. Oregon State is having real turnover problems. Tracy, do you have something for us on that? The Beavers coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants, our fundamentals are abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can the take care of going. The Thanks, Tracy. Big game for Bronson, so. Well, let's get back to the action. Took out there, McCoy. Catches it, left wing. Pass, baseline. Marcus Sovich 
Chana from downtown. You can't let Edgar Chana get a shot. 75% from beyond the arc. McElroy backs in. McElroy. He's got 12. McElroy. Marcus Sovich inbounds the ball. <laughs> the Beavers still hold a narrow lead. Four, oh three. no. Yanked down inside by Morissette. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Vern. Passes to the baseline. Webb with the crossover. Releases. Boom. 17 points and he leads oh give me that scoring. stolen away by Marie it's deflected and it's Dang. picked up by Oregon State wonderful job of denying the basketball that time great pick Marie to the bucket mm. about 14 and a half minutes left challenge the a shot blocker bounces it to the wing it's not Hester I'm worried about don't let Marcus hit this play because I know it's coming Feeds left wing goes up corralled by Morissette. He must have thought someone was rotating over to block that. You can't lose concentration even for a second. Doyle Marie dishes it to the left side, right wing. Skips it to the top of the key. No, oh, I wanted to toss it into him and shoot it really quick. We'll make some substitutions. Some little half court. No, I don't want Shauna. Inbounds the ball. Pincola brings it up. Here comes the double team. Gibbs goes up. McElroy has it, and that's his sixth rebound of the game. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Passes it to the right side. Webb shoots from the post. Gibbs reels it in. They're still up by one. Passes left wing. Let Gibbs get a shot. They're looking for him. Dumps it off. Gets it left wing with the shot. Dead They're in the Chana. lead thanks to the basket by Chana. So I went for the steal. Point, and he's his team's leading scorer. Knocks it loose, but it's retrieved by Morissette. Backs him down. Webb from in close. It falls. And it's all knotted up. About 12 Man, and let me get Chana. Can't let him take any looks. Swings it to the right wing. Gibbs crosses it over. McElroy yanks it down inside. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Down low. McElroy backs down. The free throw line. Get in there. Oh. Still almost made it. Fouled again. The line for two shots. Shooting two. Now I'm bringing Ransom back in. Knocks down the first two. The court teams are making substitutions. Give us some hopefully quality minutes <clears throat> before he gets his fifth foul. Splits the free throws. Right around 12 <clears throat> minutes left in the second half. Make it Gibbs. Aiken. Misses the three-pointer. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Goes to the crossover. Mm. The last line of resistance. You gotta come strong with that fella in there. Marcus Sovich hands it off. 
poked away, but it's recovered by Morris. Beats it to the wing. Backs down. McCoy catches it. Out left. Oh, the last I think that was blocked. Good. This guy can usually finish in traffic, but the D was too good, even for him on that one. Here comes the double team. Morris set. Shoots. Hits. Boom. The They're now out in front by three. Not oh, give me that. And it's scooped up by Marie. Has it on the perimeter. Morris set. Dishes for a side. To the elbow. Dumps it to the paint. Jimenez backs him down. Marie passes to the stripe. Webb has it right wing from deep. Jimenez snatches the rebound. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Doyle. Marie raises up. Oh, a wide open shot, Marie. Marie. But they're still up by three. I thought he's got a pretty good mid range game. Backs in. Takes it up. Draws the foul. And look at that. Two second Third team foul. Shooting two. We have the energy boost from the sixth man. And he makes the first. Both teams will make some substitutions. He's off on the second. Oh, that hurts. Doyle inbounds the ball. They're bringing the double team. Oh, what am I doing? Down court. Left wing. Beats it to the left. Doyle. Passes back inside. Turned away. Mm. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Hester catches it right side. Dishes perimeter. Morris catches it outright. I need a timeout. Hester skips it to the elbow. Aiken dumps it off. Morris. Passes it to the wing. Tip. And it's gathered up. Go, Bucky. Go, Bucky. Go, Bucky. Go. He's just asking for a turnover. Bucky. Defenders drool over easy steals like that. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. They're going to double team it. Marcus Sovich gets it on the elbow. The Aggie. I'm out of all timeout. Webb and Bucky need a quick break here. Getting set up the inbound the ball. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Oregon State adds a defender into the mix. They really want to get tough on the defensive end. Pass left side. Jimenez backs down. Mm. And he will go to the line. It's too big. They didn't bring the double. I'm forcing that shot every time. 7 2, 285. He's a monster. Knocks down the first one. Sounds getting louder. Splits the free throws. The Beavers can take their first lead in a long time with a basket here. Underwood. 
has it. Baseline. Marcus Sovich to give them the lead. Jimenez gets the board inside. Usually, if he gets any sort of room, he nails it. If I'm the defense, I don't let him get another chance from there. Doyle bounces it to the inside. No mm. Last layup by Jimenez. Under eight minutes left in the second half. Jimenez the just play the middle. Mora hands it off. Swings it to the right wing. It's tipped, and it's controlled by UC Davis. Here is the break. Doyle. Skips it to the high post. Williamson catches it, left wing. Dumps it down low. Oh. Nice on the layup by Jimenez. They're still up by one. Jimenez might need another pep talk. Marcus Sovich gets it top of the key. Hester dishes to the free throw line. Loose, Go. And it's gathered up by Williamson. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love oh. basketball. To the stripe. Beats it to the wing. Morris. Let's clog up the right that middle. Don't the give lead. him a three. Williamson pulls it in. D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they preferred the long three over him driving it in. No one was five open. And they'll turn it over in the five-second call. So oh, that's a great oh, hustle boy. by the defender. No matter what, he wasn't going to let his man shake loose. Underwood inbounds the ball. Skip pass. Left wing. <laughs> Underwood. Nice and go. Scooped up by Chris. Well, he tried to sell the shot, but the D was alert and didn't buy. Good steal. Follow the pump fake. Errant last shot <sighs> by Marie. The Beavers can take their first lead in a I long time. I take it in too much traffic. I noticed here. that. Chana dumps it down low. Underwood. Coach Davis might have decided to switch things up a little bit. This is an important stretch right here. Everybody's clear on the game plan. Good shot selection. Even though McElroy's playing good. We'll get a few more I feel like um, Jimenez has got to stay out there for us. The ball. To the free throw line. Dishes it to the top of the key. Well, bounces off the left rim and out. It's a terrible shot. Grabbed inside by Williamson. Got real lucky there. Like that. I'm sure his coach will be telling him that. Jimenez bounces it to the left side. Williamson has it right corner. Saints Boom. It. They're leading 57 to 55. <clears throat> About four and a half minutes left in the second half. Pincola way up court. Hester takes it up. He gets him out. He'll have his first more foul. Four team foul. Moving this out of there. Substitution. Ronson McRoy comes back. He can't get the place. Marie will leave the floor, and he's really been struggling so far. I don't know if Ledbetter is going to be able to do much better. He's barely played this game. Well, that's too bad, Vern. 
He's not necessarily the guy you want shooting free throws in this kind of situation. Webb. Uh. Outright. Goes up. Swiped off the boards by Law. Right around four minutes left in the second half. Quick defensive reaction changed the trajectory. That's what great defenses do. Contest every shot. If we can just cling Under to this lead. To the right. Vincola gets the rebound. Far side. Backs in. Kicks it out to the outside. Morris set from the baseline. Mm -hmm. Can't connect. But they still lead by two. Underwood. Chana has it high post. Don't let Underwood or Chana shoot. I should have had that. Don't let Chana get it. Grabs the rock. He'll make that one most of the time. But the D got a break on that one. Webb. Catches it. Left side. Morris set. Skips it cross court. Dishes to the outside. Webb from downtown. No chance. The Still a their defense lead. is really good. Underwood. Passes to the perimeter. Hester gets it right wing. Pass to the stripe. Chana. Has it right wing underwood Two minutes remaining. Locked. Extraordinary. How's that for a little D? Those are the kind of plays that win you ball games, Vern. Take that, that layup. Buried by Webb. Oregon State. Ooh, under shot stick. They're down by four. 151 left in the game. Kind of got our best five out there. Oh, that's an important are going to make some substitutions. stretch there, and it was defense that did it. There's China. I'll be all over him like white on rice. I don't care what anyone else does. Bounces it to the right side. Bounce pass, right wing. Chana fires. Knocks How did he hit point. that? But they still trade the hand in one. his face. Marie passes it up court. Takes it up. Hold it. Oh, what is Bucky Morris said doing? Thus far. What the is Beavers Bucky Morris said doing? The lead here late in the second half. Deflects the pass, and it's gathered Go, up Bucky. by Williamson. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. See, I wish I knew how to backdoor cut. Top of the key. <sighs> well, McAvoy's been working good Backs for us. Dishes to the right corner. Leads him with the pass. Webb gets Webb the somehow corner. wide He's open. Can't get the three-pointer to fall. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Lead in a long time with a basket here. They don't call a timeout. Dumps it to the inside. Underwood. Pincala beats it to the wing. Hester to For the win. Gets it we the won. Time, but it doesn't fall. <laughs> what a tough way to finish. That hurts. And it's all yes, I did not think we're going to win that game. 
Oregon State. Honestly speaking, I did not think we would win that. I thought that layup was going to roll out. I thought that one was rolling out, that's why I jumped. I thought for sure we weren't winning that game. For sure. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game changing performance. Thanks for we squeaked out of it. To K Sports studio. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac game changing performance. I'll be right back. There are some shots that simply crush the spirit of an opponent. The UC Davis Aggie got this game changing shot in the closing moment. It would prove to be the knockout blow in their hard fought victory. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports. Yeah, I did not think there was any way we could win that, shooting 32%, 3 of 10 from downtown. A lot of free throws, though. Held our own on the rebounding. A lot of steals. They had 16 turnovers to our 8. A couple blocks. <sighs> Can't believe that win. Felton Marie struggled. Muhammad Doyle did other things besides shoot. Bucky played well. Brendan McElroy gets the game ball here. Four for four from the free throw line. Steals galore. Big block by Bucky Morris sat down the down the stretch there. Chana was just hot. Wow, I can't believe we won that. That was a big, big win. Big, big win. Wow. Let's focus on it as a team. Next week, let's get defense awareness and durability stamina as a team. <clears throat> Signing period's going to end. Recruit signing period is ended. Recruits can be signed again in the off-season recruiting period. Let's watch some college hoops tonight. See if we get spotlighted. What are we now? Seven and one. Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Greg Gumble here with my partner Clark Kellogg. Turning off on control. college hoops tonight, we'll break down all the big names of the week as well as tell you where the top recruit in the nation is headed. But we begin with a special player who was an easy choice. Yeah, I just thought for sure. I thought basketball. even at, Kane, when they were up six at that week. one point, he dominated the action from that we were going to be. Spot. And that's no easy task in college basketball these days. Um, in trouble. I thought they'd extend it, but somehow we kept it close. There were some fantastic four, matchups six. this past week, so let's take a closer look at them in our games of the week. Let's get started with what turned into an absolutely terrific matchup. Boston College dismantled Maryland. Shot this terribly and made a lot of mistakes. To decide who was turned come it over out eight times, which is the action was so bad not bad when you make them turn it over 16 times, but still. The entire game. 
Boston and then we stayed within four, and then we went on that little run, the guys on the other side tied it up, and it was back and forth, and I just thought for sure they never let up on the defense they were going to win that thing, really but Lem just kept pumping away, attacking the rim, and that shot stick layup. I try to use the shot stick every time, but it's it's kind of tough in the heat of the moment, getting the direction right sometimes, and... Sometimes I try to pump fake under the basket and he goes up with the shot. And two teams, Maybe I'm pressing the button too hard in instead of tapping it. Washington was victorious Washington's over Pittsburgh. This game wasn't as close as I expected it to be, but there still was high-level basketball played. And, and I uh, expect to see more of both of these teams in the future. Was not going Sometimes to be I just try to go up in traffic a lot, hoping to draw a foul, but a lot of times you don't draw the foul and you either get blocked or just throw up a bad shot. There's news off the court as well as on at this time Wait, of the year, okay. as the top high school players in the country are Except signing their letters of intent. He looks good. The signing of one player forward. made an especially big splash. Arizona is already celebrating, and all this for a player that has yet to set foot on the university's ground. Arizona. Nelke is the type of player that coaches dream about. Who signed Everyone the first on one, that Duke. campus was buzzing about this signing. He's something of a legend signed out west where he grew up. Group. And pretty soon the rest of the country is going to know who he is too, Greg. I got to see him play a few times in high school, and his skill set is perfectly Man. suited for the college game. Sometimes his high school teammates had trouble keeping up with him, and obviously that won't be as much of a problem next year. Recording. That'll do it for us here in the studio tonight, brought to you by I State am. Farm, the number one auto Ooh, insurer. I thought I forgot Enjoy to record. Enjoy the exciting week of college hoops action to come. All right, we're six and one. Next game is Jackson State. Then we have a big one at UCLA, number six. Marquette, number two. So let's try to do a little bit of recruiting. Staple, we can remove him. DeWitt. Mm. We're the only ones after him. Being close to home, feeling wanted. Those grades don't look too bad to be shooting and stuff, but these stats look pretty bad. And so do these. Vadim Hornsby. Uh, he put up big numbers, shot a good percentage. Kind of know what his game is about. Alexis Lambert. All Paris Hales, who we want to check out. We're the only ones after him, so let's scout his game. Alexis Lambert. We're a little behind Eastern Washington. Let's see what we've got here. Carpenter, one star. JD Lagana. Judd Gross, 6'10", 234, working from behind there. Mm -hmm. 5'11", 
158. Desmond Aikens. He's going to Princeton. Alex Fisher. He's going somewhere else. Devon Feist. but not very good. Let's put him on the recruit target list. Hey, bro. Anthony, bro. Six two. We like tall point guards. Oh, he puts up good numbers. And he's going somewhere else. The forest. What, dude? He's big, so we'll request his game tape. Head to the target list. Oh, we're still in the race for Dyron Borges. Let's visit him at home. Lagana, Theodore Hawkins. Oh, hope no one's after him. They are, but can we catch up? This guy puts up numbers. Well, that him is just a long shot target, so let's phone everybody. Oh no, did I offer him a scholarship? I didn't mean to do that. I meant to email him. Wouldn't be in the running for this guy. So I'm going to save here. And thanks for joining me for a heart pounding game right there. That was a tough one. Somehow got the gritty win. <clears throat> and uh, I'll see you next time. With more College Hoops 2K, UC Davis Aggies. Peace out, everybody.